Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. So today I'm going to give you some major cleaning motivation. So I'm doing more of like a deep clean in today's video. I'm also going to clean and organize my kitchen and just get a fresh start for this fall. Um, so I actually was going to do, you know, kind of like a deep clean on the whole main living space and really just focus on cleaning the baseboards and the walls and stuff like that. And then mid into this video, I just got really into cleaning the kitchen, and that's kind of what the video turns into. It's just some major cleaning in the kitchen. So I hope you guys don't mind. I hope it helps motivate you, get some stuff done. Um, but first, I'm just going to work on vacuuming and start taking apart the couch to wash the cushions. So after taking off all the cushion covers, I just wanted to let you guys know that I do not recommend doing this on this particular couch just because it was so hard to get them back on. And I mean, obviously it's going to be hard, um, but I've had a couch before that I could take the um, cushions off and wash them as many times as I wanted and, and never had an issue. So now that I have this couch, it just, it wasn't as easy. So I don't recommend taking it apart. Um, I would just spot clean, maybe take it outside and spray them down with Lysol, let them sit in the sun for a little bit to air out, but I would not recommend taking them apart. I don't even know if you're supposed to. I did, and it luckily I was able to get them back on, and it looks good, um, but like I said, don't do that if you have this particular couch. Um, and then as you can see, we had a ton of sand and crumbs, and it's crazy because I really don't even let the kids eat on the couch. It's very, very rare, so I honestly don't even know where all this came from. It's amazing what your couch will accumulate. It's really gross, but at least I'm getting it cleaned up now. So about two weeks ago, I sprinkled the whole couch down with baking soda to let it just sit and just soak up all the odors and just, you know, just clean it really good. Um, and I actually missed a lot of spots when I was vacuuming it up and didn't realize it. And it literally stained the black part of this couch. It's like it almost like soaked in so much that I could not get it up. Um, I tried wiping it with baby wipes. I tried vacuuming it up. Nothing would get it up. So luckily it didn't damage the actual fabric um, part that you see. So if you are ever going to use baking soda on your couch, just make sure you clean it up really well. I I didn't, I obviously, and it kind of stained it. So even with wet wipe, I was having a really hard time getting it all up. Okay, so really quick, I wanted to give y'all a little haul on some things that I picked up from Walmart today. So I found this bath caddy, um, these little bins, for two dollars on clearance um, so I figured they'd be nice to have for um, storing things like underneath the kitchen sink I'm gonna use this one for my cleaning supplies um, and then I have two little packs of um, storage trays this one is a two pack this one is a three pack I also found this on clearance for um, three bucks it's just a shoe pocket um, organizer for over the door I really need somewhere to put my shoes, that way they're up off the ground. I usually keep them in a basket, um, but I thought this would be nice to hang up in my closet for all my shoes. And then I got a huge thing of baking soda, um, some scent boosters for our laundry, 
some Mr. Clean antibacterial cleaner, some toilet paper. I've never tried these before, but I'm gonna give them a shot. They're just Lysol automatic toilet cleaners. I thought it'd be nice to just keep the toilet fresh. And then I picked these up from the auto department. They're two packs for 97 cents. I like to dust with these because they're, they just pick up dust really well. Got those, some paint for the kids, and I have this little stencil that I plan on using for a project coming up soon. So that's my quick little Walmart mini haul. Um, I'm gonna go throw the um, cushions to the couch in the wash machine really quick and put them on like a very gentle cycle but i wanted to grab these that way they would smell really good you know that i'm a keep it cool with you i feel like breaking rules on the edge looking out with no parachute you know i'm dreaming about us who playing around without a clue on the edge cleaning out with us it's all or nothing So the part that I'm cleaning right here is actually the right by the sliding glass door when you walk in. Um, and this part of our house seems to be the dirtiest because just with all the sand and dirt in the backyard and the kids and dogs going in and out of the backyard, um, it does tend to get really messy. So I wanted to clean that up really quick and I also needed to clean my vents. So I went around and just took the time to clean the air um, intake vent and also the AC vents on the ceiling. Um, if y'all are new here, my AC has actually been broken, so this is like the perfect time for me to get a nice fresh clean on everything before it's fixed again. And I just used a butter knife and this thick microfiber towel and it cleaned really, really well. You could also take these apart and spray them in the shower. Um, I personally just like to get it done really quick just using the butter knife and it's also really satisfying <laughs> just to see all the dirt. Honestly, it didn't even look that dirty, but look how nasty the towel is. It's pretty crazy how like fast and dusty these things will get um, and then here's just an up-close view of our vents they are pretty bad as well so I just did the same thing the butter knife and the microfiber towel and just quickly cleaned all the vents out So now moving into the kitchen, I really needed to do a deep clean in here because the day before this video, I actually um, took out our open, I'm sorry, our bar that we had in our kitchen. I will share that in an upcoming video, so make sure you're subscribed so you can see how we took that out. Um, but while we were cutting up tile and just cutting the wall down and stuff, it kicked up a lot of dust. So everything on the open shelving needed to be wiped down and clean as well um, as the cabinets, the top of the fridge. Everything just needed a nice deep clean. So the rest of this video is basically me just deep cleaning the kitchen. Um, and I got like so in the zone and I'm, I got all the cabinets reorganized. It looks so good. So I hope that this portion of the video helps motivate you to get your kitchen done as well. You got me tripping ever since I saw you. I went slipping, didn't even know you.
So while I'm waiting on the stovetop cleaner to just soak in, I just wiped out the tray at the bottom of our oven. And this is actually where we store a lot of our pots and pans that we use on a daily basis. Um, they were all actually in the dishwasher at this moment. That's why there was none in there. Um, and if you missed my video where I did a small kitchen organize and declutter with me, I'll link that video below. Um, but we actually got rid of a lot of stuff when we first moved in just because we really didn't use it. I try to only keep what I actually use it just helps minimize the clutter um, I will collect other things though so don't let that fool you <laughs> I don't have a ton of dishes but I somehow collect and accumulate a ton of cleaning supplies and a ton of other random stuff which you will see in this video me cleaning out my junk drawer it's ridiculous um, but <laughs> anyway I'm just cleaning this stovetop really quick with the Wyman stovetop cleaner I love this stuff it makes my whole stovetop look so shiny and brand new um, and then all you have to do really is just scrub it in and then wipe it off with water. And I just try to get as much up as I can. And then I spray with an additional cleaner and just make sure everything's nice and spotless. I know you're strong. To get yourself together. Things still get better. If you just So now I'm just going to work on putting everything away and then I started to unload the dishwasher and realized that I should probably go ahead and just touch up and reorganize the kitchen cabinets as well. So then we're going to go ahead and get into the whole organizing and cleaning out portion of the cabinets.
far away though you're close Was your mind that I wanna know A penny for your thoughts I wanna know what's inside that heart of yours Ooh, I feel paper thin through those two horrendous chunk drawers. I freed up a whole drawer here, so I'm gonna use that for the kids' snacks. Um, I usually would store their snacks in a basket, but honestly, that system has not been working for us. So I wanna get me some more little organizers for in here and just start storing the snacks. That way they could reach them and you know they're easy access, but they're also pretty organized. So we're gonna try this out and I'll keep y'all updated on how it works. So after getting all these snacks put away, I'm just going to move on to wiping off all the cabinets. And to do that, I'm just using this multi-purpose cleaner and some baby wipes. I personally like to use the baby wipes on the cabinets just because I feel like it really picks up a lot of the grime. And I can rinse them out and reuse them so I'm not wasting a lot and also not just spreading um, the dirt around. I'm actually picking it up and able to rinse it out. Um, and it really does help keep the cabinets nice and white and clean. So now I'm just wiping off my appliances using some stainless steel wipes and these were actually the last two wipes I had. So what I did was I just, um, once this 
these two wipes dried out, I just made them a little damp with water and it worked good as new to finish off the stove and the dishwasher. By the way, here's a little sneak peek of how it looks without the bar being there. Um, it looks so much better. I absolutely love it. Um, it's so weird to not have to walk around that little bar area. I still forget and I still catch myself walking around it. Um, I obviously still have some work to do, so make sure y'all stay tuned for that video so you can see how I finish that space off. But love that it's gone. It looks so much bigger in the house. Um, and it's crazy that such a small little area took up so much space. So I'm going to go ahead and end today's video with some sink deep cleaning. Um, so I just sprinkled on some baking soda and I'm scrubbing that in really well and then I'm going to take some soap and scrub on top of that and the combination of baking soda and dish soap just really makes the sink nice and shiny and look brand new. Um, but I really appreciate you guys watching today's video. I hope that it helped you get motivated to get something done today. Um, if you would please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. It really does help my channel out a lot. Um, and also let me know in the comments below what y'all are up to today. I would love to hear, um, you know, what y'all are doing. And if you were able to accomplish anything or if you plan on getting anything done. I love to just chat with you guys and read y'all's comments a lot. And I really, really appreciate them so much. So, um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, y'all. I've been chasing all the things I never had before All the way down by the river I found a place where I can drown the old you